This is Low Moon Uprising, and the story continues. Do not like being here. Okay. This place seems so weird. It does seem to contrast with your normal life, that is for sure. You hear steps, footsteps on the stairs. You'll recall there's a, you're upstairs in a wooden yeah. house, and there's stairs that lead down on the left side of the wall, and you hear footsteps coming up. Um, Hello? And they seem to be coming a little faster than a casual pace, like someone is rushing. I hide under the bed. Okay. You say hello, and then you move to hide under the bed. Yeah. Just as you're about half under the bed, you see that it is Sarah, your wife, who is coming up. She is dressed in street clothes. She is damp, as if it's raining outside. Um, I thought you were someone else, sorry. Dear? I thought you were someone else. Oh, I thought perhaps you had a bad dream again. No. No more stories about hunting undead and eh. trapped in haunted houses and so on. <laughs> anyway, um, I was going to wake you. I know it's really early, but we have a problem. I have a problem. I need that your help. Is. You, you remember my sister? Uh, yes. Okay, you lie, it's fine. <laughs> well, she's here. Oh, jeez. Downstairs. And you remember I told you that she's supposed to be wed um, to my third cousin who lives in Hillcrest? Yeah. Okay, now I know you're lying. I never told you that. <laughs> but it's true anyway. You really need to get more sleep. It's not a sleep thing. Anyway. It is a sleep thing. <laughs> she's here. And the... <laughs> original individual who was supposed to come and get her and guide her to Hillcrest fell through and she posted an ad earlier today at the shingle spot and now there are some adventuring types friends to halflings who are coming to the house shortly within the next half hour or so and I would like you to talk to them and see since you have such keen wit and uh, good relations with humans and elves and pick some of them to take her and perhaps even go with them yourself to make sure that she gets there safely. I'll do that. Oh, excellent. You should probably put your pants on. I'll just get dressed and I'll grab all my gear. Okay, it's all put away neatly. It takes you a few minutes to get it all back <laughs> up again. It's all in the closet. It's little storage areas and stuff. I grab Okay. Uh, roll percentile day. Okay, so as you're going through the closet, you do notice that there is a um, about three inch long, it looks to be made of glass or crystal shaft that is laying in the closet on a vel on a piece of black velvet right next to your uh, your main dagger. Oh, I'll pick it up and kind of like it. She comes up next to you and she, mind you, uh, you are dressed, so is she, but she comes up next to you, she kind of like stands up against you and puts her arm around there and she said, oh, I got that for you. I don't, I kind of like what's those that way. Do you like it? Yeah, it looks cool. She says, let me show you. She holds her hand out. It's three inches long. Oh, yeah. Okay. yeah she, she steps back and she goes. And as she does, you see it like little white speckles of energy form around it. And then it basically fades away and it with a little crackling noise. And, um, and then you see a faint like a spark of light that goes up in the air and then for a second you see a spark of light head around the side of her head and you get the sense that it's it's flying around her head but it's almost invisible she said it's called an iun stone okay i found it at an auction she holds her hand out and as she does so it hits her hand and then it, it immediately rolls down and becomes solid laying in her hand you try it I do. I okay, so you go. Then it goes, and it takes off around your head. The heck? What an extra way. Such an extra way to aggravate. Just think so. like <laughs> Most of the time, go. And it, it goes up, and uh, you feel, for a second you feel like uh, kind of like a chill that goes down your arms and legs, uh, as if it is affecting you uh, some way magically. I bought it for you. And she gives you a big old kiss on the cheek. And then she says, my sister's waiting. Let's go. And she turns and hustles down the stairs. I can you to grab that one. <laughs> okay, yeah, you had most of it by that time. All right. Um, oh, I'll take the thingy out. Too. All right. You pick it up in time. Not very long at all. In fact, probably by the time you get down the stairs, you will realize that the Ion Stone is affecting your dexterity. And it is an Ion an Stone of plus one dexterity. I don't care. Kill him. <laughs> I don't care. Give it to me. I What's your dexterity? I, don't I need a pencil. pencils. I'm far too committed for that. <laughs> My next is 16, so I'm getting a 17. I'm getting a 17 right now. Wait, that character? Yeah. The one you just made? Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> I might just, like, 
AI, AI the backstory. <laughs> AI, it, but add in a few little things. There wasn't enough room on the sheet, so I, I may have added a few more. I'm gonna use like AI for like a, a launch point. Okay, so with your Ion Stone up, for sure. nice. Yeah, something else. Let me see. Send it to me. <laughs> How many fingers does she got? Thanks. There, her hands aren't in the picture. <laughs> Thankfully. Right. Okay, let's start. Okay, so with the increase in dexterity, you will get plus five pickpockets, plus ten open locks, plus five in silent, and plus five hiding chairs. Those are all down. No, I just got somebody else. The Mona Lisa with the mustache. Can I see? Should have had them on. They're right here. Mustache. Okay, so here we go. I tried to add the force with Matt, that's just what made them all. And I have hide and shadows. Too bad you can't create like a Okay, there's your adjusted numbers. Why you're wearing your eye and stone. And you just generally feel more. Oh, you know what? It also will affect your evasion per se. Which is that you can actually make a 3D image of that. I thought I did real good, so now I'm just going to hang on. Yeah, I want it to be the same character, just wearing a porcelain mask. <laughs> this is the problem when I'm at it. Okay, now it's 30 percent with the other side. Okay. All right. Uh, you enter the kitchen, which is a large uh, wooden floored room, cabinets on one side. There's a sink with a crank uh, well next to it to pump that you can water will pour out into the sink and that kind of thing. There is a large table here, fit for a family of 12. You're not sure how many people are in your family, but it does strike you that it's quite a large table with a lot of chairs in it. Um, okay. And uh, seated at one end of the table, uh, the end that you're coming in on pretty much, because you kind of come in on the middle, but mostly toward her end, um, and is a beautiful halfling woman. She's blonde, kind of busty, uh, broad-shouldered, uh, and uh, she looks up at you and smiles, and you see that she has a couple of freckles below her right eye, and um, you don't really recognize her, but you do see a somewhat of a similar like, resemblance between her and your wife, or the woman who claims to be your wife, because you don't ever remember getting married. <laughs> That's the principle. Okay. She stands up and she rushes to you and she goes, Adam! And she hugs you and she comes like her head is at like your nose. So she's pretty <laughs> short. Um, I'm two foot ten. Yeah, well, she's two foot eight. Jeez. Two foot four. She's, she's, she's stock, stocky but little. Okay. Dang. And she says, it's so good to see you again. And she hugs you and the scent of her perfume is in your nose. And um, uh, <laughs> my, my wife. Okay, after a, like a good solid 30 seconds, she's still hugging you and she has her head buried in your shoulder and your wife steps forward and kind of pulls the two of you apart and she goes, she says, Audrey, Audrey sit, sit down, sit down. Adam has already agreed to help us. Oh, thank goodness. Ibaldi Gook be praised. I thought this was going to be a problem, but now that you're involved, I am certain all will go well. I understand from rumors I heard just a little while ago that there are several individuals who are coming to apply for the job. And I I want to meet my husband in Hillcrest and be married to him and have his babies as often as I may. And so, will you help me find them, people who are coming here that are good to be people? And then maybe we can all go, you and me and all them, and go to Hillcrest? Okay, now yeah. something, something in the back of your mind. You can't picture exactly where Hillcrest is. You don't have navigation, correct? I think I do. I like Sounds like a no. You can't find it. I got lumens for days. And base writing. And our base writing. Our name story. And and my handling. So yes, you write stuff, but you don't know where. You don't know how to read a map very good. Okay. Yes, it does not ring a bell. <laughs> Uh, exactly where it is. You've heard the name before, but you can't remember exactly where it is. So you don't know how far away it is. Just, just don't. How long is how far is that again? You could put in spear and then hope. Uh, the spear says, uh, about three days. Or spear with a very okay. wide spearhead. No, I, I, the just reason just I'm really concerned about it is because we've heard about a lot of cult and violent activity in that area. But I know that you're afraid of next to nothing, so that's why I came to you. No. <laughs> Your wife says, did you try Aleth first? I did, but that was just because I was closer to his house. Did you go to Ainro's house? Uh, yeah, I did that too, but it was on the way here, I swear. 
was kind of short. Did you <laughs> ask Cousin Feeling? I did. So Adam is your fourth choice. Um, yeah, let, like let's I, go with that. No, there's... <laughs> I don't believe that. I feel like you just shouldn't straight here. I don't know why. I just get that feeling. Okay. Whatever you say, Adam. As long as you're going to help me. I will. I just And there's a knock at the door. I run over again. Where are the rings going? Okay. Uh, and I think it's... I forgot who it was. Tommy, right? Do you have the highest number? No, I was 18. I was... So, he has, so Aaron, you're knocking at the door. Okay. You open the door and you see... Uh, I sent a picture in a group. Oh, we have a picture. Everyone. We have a picture. Right. Awesome. The first one, not the second one. The man. <laughs> yeah, I, the I, I think we would know. Just type in the description. Oh, dang. Oh, yeah, he's awesome. He looks like he's been through some stuff. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I he's got a, a bit yep. of a brain tumor going on. <laughs> I can see that. I love him. <laughs> I love him. That's awesome. I, it's so good. That was my first try. It came out wonderful. So, uh, he's a human. Five foot ten, about a, a little over 150 pounds. Oh, so Those of you who like... haven't looked at the picture, he's bald. <laughs> or if you're an audio listener, he's bald. He's got some scruff on the back. Um, yeah, maybe like a little bit of like stubble type hair on the back of his head, but bald on the top of his head. Uh, has a black beard uh, with a few kind of gray hair specked in the beard. Green eyes. He, his face is very aged. Um, Kind of gives battle hardened like, vibes, I guess, What's but he's, he's more uh, plain looking. He's pretty rugged, but he's he's plain, dressed in like common clothing. Um, is not wearing armor, but he does have a quarter staff, and that's the only weapon visible on him. <laughs> he he looks like he could be mistaken for a monk, or I guess he looks like a monk. He looks like a monk. Just hit the cancel button. Got it. Uh, Hi. Do I know? Am I looking for someone? For yes. Like so uh, you're looking for. Um, her name is Aelin, <laughs> and she is a halfling, and she is looking for a group to transport her to Hillcrest, and she's paying a hundred gold pieces uh, plus expenses. Okay. Well, when the door is open, I'll say, "Is it morning?" It is very early morning, like 5 a.m. I'll say, "Morning." Hello. I'm looking for Aelin. Uh, she's in the kitchen. Which is right behind you. <laughs> She's right there. Very good. <laughs> May I come in? Yes. You may take a seat. Okay. You hear her. She's a short halfling blonde, as described. And you hear her say, Oh, I like this one. <laughs> as he comes in. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> I feel like I think he's just the first one. That's a halfling. <laughs> <laughs> That's a halfling. <laughs> okay. So you shut He's the door behind you, balls. obviously. I mean, it is yeah. light, raining lightly outside, too, so you're slightly wet. Okay. I mean, if you look at the trees and stuff, I can have a seat here then. Yes. I'll sit down. <laughs> she said. <laughs> assume that she, yeah, if you sit down, she yeah. goes, you have long legs. I've been told this many times. times. Indeed. He's like four times our size. Yeah, but when he sits down, he's only like six inches taller than you. I know. <laughs> Because <laughs> it's like, go up here. Uh, I'll say, you must be Aelin, I presume? I am Aelin, yes. I am George Brewer. George. Nice to meet you. You are responding to the ad that I placed at the shingle stop? Indeed. I am offering uh, 100 gold and expenses for a trip to Hillcrest. Adam will now ask you some difficult questions to determine whether or not you are suitable for the mission. I don't, I'm not going to. If you respond, that means he's willing to take the step. Well, don't <laughs> Yes, willing, but capable. Is he capable? I don't even have any questions to ask him. <laughs> I can assure you that I'm quite I mean, he looks like he's been through some so. cross, cross country journey. Now, if maybe there are details of this expedition that I'm not aware of, I would love to be enlightened. enlightened but Speaking of pulling off, I have no I am content. There is a cult war going on in the I area. I think it's the word barbarian that's messing it up. That's why I'm trying to hire a handful of powerful individuals. And I really thought Adam was going to help me. just a Catholic. She looks, at the, she looks at Sarah and she says, Tell him. Honey, ask a man some difficult questions. I don't know him! I'm going with she this one. She leans it on This one's beautiful. <laughs> Jared. No. Ask him to fight over I was leaving you to fight. You speak any languages. And, uh, what languages do you speak? the last speak? person you killed. Things like that. Mm. <laughs> what I, languages do you speak? I can read and write common proficiently. That's awesome. That's more than we can do. <laughs> what? <laughs> Excuse me, I can speak. Please. <laughs> I just listened up. Does that mean it's loading? I just yeah, listened up. If you don't want to miss any of the story, Low Moon Origins, 
Uprising or Outsiders, like and follow our podcast. Please share it with friends. Are you right-handed or left-handed? Right-handed. Do you wear colored socks? (laughs) What? Occasionally. I see him. How proficient are you and your staff? They go, ooh, that's good. That's a good one. Quiet. The sister and the wife. I have spent many years honing my skills mm. with the staff. I thought it was something funny. I beyond that it cannot be put into words. So you okay, cool. <laughs> Do you know any of the others that may be coming? No, I I have not I have no other acquaintances with skills suitable for what you were looking for. Can you ride a horse? I have done so before. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it's about everyone who rides the horse. The, the women look at each other and go, she goes, I think that's not a yes. Yes, it's a yes. Yeah, yes. Okay. So maybe it's my bureaucracy <laughs> proficiency. <laughs> um, Are you proficient? Can you cook? I like to eat, and I don't cook. Yes, I, in fact, I own a restaurant in town. Oh, oh. excellent. Uh, George's. Oh, she's, 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 oh, I'm sorry. Were you ready now? <laughs> I was just filling in until you were ready. <laughs> Bruh. I forgot now. <laughs> I forgot. Does Adam have his These guys are like halflings or something. Yeah, I have my I have all my gear. Yeah, he looks totally equipped. He's ready to go right now. I'll say, uh, <laughs> what is your name? Oh, my name is Adam. 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 I like the lights to get pictures. They both nod. Thunderfoot. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Do you have combat experience? Yes, I've been a lawyer for a long I've been a by a, a long time. I'm also pretty good at these skills. You mean like sneaking, uh, not stealing. <laughs> It's a right. Wrong. Take a picture. <laughs> a chair. I'm good at both. <laughs> Stay away from the restaurant. I'm not. I'm, I, I, I don't <laughs> feel like that. You have a restaurant, huh? What kind of food? Can you put Jason's face on this? Stop. Uh, I try to sure. feature most of Do you make your own bread? Or do you pick it? I, I do not make my own bread. <laughs> <laughs> not make my own bread is what you said? No, I... I most of the dishes of the restaurant are my own. Do any halflings eat there? Halflings don't some. like picked bread. They like real made bread. Some halflings. They they have mentioned I like the bread well, to me. If they eat there anyway, it must be really good food, don't you think? Yeah. My most famous is my Hey, I got a question for you. Rice minestrone. If I, if I give you a bonus and two gold, will you help us interview the rest of the candidates? I think you should sure. do that without. I can do so. All right, I'll give you two gold right now. I have interviewed staff in my restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And on that note, there is a knock at the door. Open the door. If it's me, it's a heavy still, knock. It's a I am, heavy knock. I am still, <laughs> I am like still by the door, so I open the door. I go, hello? Sarah, Sarah says, sounds like a constable. <laughs> he always knocks like that. It's, what was the name on the ad? Just a minute. Let me hide all the smoking. It's, it's what fine. was the name on the ad? Uh, Aylin Thunderfoot. Is this Mrs. Thunderfoot's I place? Open the door. <laughs> I open the door. Hello. There's a one of the the one woman is over by the counter. She's shoving a bunch of stuff in a drawer. And then she closes it. It's fine. So okay. Oh. I sent a picture. I'm a extremely oh, muscular oh, five oh, foot. 176 pound halfling, Jason. <laughs> Five foot, 176 pounds. Very, very, very big, very, very muscular, armed with a shovel. I didn't get it. I didn't get it either. Oh, I sent it in the chat, I thought. The one that they sent the pictures in. They're not sent? No. He didn't say uh, I don't, I'm not even going to send mine. There you go. Because you have the. You're <laughs> 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 going on the halfling. <laughs> Coning the half bar, half bar. <laughs> I saw that. Yeah, that's, that's the one. That's the one. Oh, that's the one. Um, so while he's waiting, he has in one hand a turkey leg, and in the other hand, hand a loaf of bread. No, he doesn't have a shovel. He has a fancy sword. With yeah, I couldn't get a shovel. All the shovels are one-handed. I couldn't get a shovel. Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. Okay, so sorry. He's um holding a he's holding a turkey leg in one hand and a a piece of bread in the other, and he's just double fisting the two. He's always snacking. Uh, hi. I heard that there was a uh, ad here for an adventure. Yes. Oh, I hope not. I'm here to respond. You may come in and sit down. Yeah, he's just walking his heavy footsteps. I'll, I'll stand up as he approaches the area we're sitting in and extend a hand. Handshake. I grab your forearm. Oh, I like force. this one. I'll say. Uh, <laughs> I'll say. Well, this one's even bigger. My name's George. He's funny. He's like. Jared. Jerry? Jared. 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 Jared, Jared I'll be handling. Jared Stoutfoot. Jared, I'll, I'll be handling. Sarah, get him something to drink. He's horse. Interview today. I'll walk. To be sure yes, and more food. 
<laughs> I'll walk over and I'll introduce myself. I'm Adam Thunderfoot. Hello, Mr. Thunderfoot. Hello. I am Jared Stoutfoot. I had a tangent. Jared, <laughs> same thing, I clasped your forearm. <laughs> you probably flew like around like a ragdoll. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm the same race as you, that's so funny. <laughs> You're five foot. I'm two foot ten. I'm, I'm like small. A, he's I'm a like, halfling, but he's twice your size. I'm like I'm like a halfling. He can swing me like a. He also a, has a. a he also carries on himself a lute and a banjo. <laughs> <laughs> you can straight up throw me like a football. I am small right. to you. Yeah, he's like a six seven human equivalent. <laughs> he's a basketball player. I forgot the questions. She says he could be on the halfling NBA. <laughs> okay. This, this is our um, enlister. He's going to ask George. you some questions now. George. This is Jared. How many? How much combat experience have you had? I began regaling him many a tales, showing him every single scar I had, which okay. is a lot. Say versus Constitution or fall asleep. Um, my voice is very loud. Forty twenty 20 versus your con. He always talks loud like this the entire time. Seventeen. And your con is interested in giving financially to Low Moon and support the campaign? Text L M. G I V E. That's L M. Give to four one nine four one nine zero zero nine five. Seventeen. Okay, he he stays awake, but just barely starts to go. Yeah. I'm I'm very large after, and also very loud. After, after a couple of minutes, Aylin falls uh, asleep. After like three or four minutes, I'll say. Sarah falls asleep. Sarah, Sarah falls asleep right sitting there. on the bottom step. <laughs> and this one. Oh, they fell asleep like ninety seconds in. <laughs> I see you again. again. Much experience, so yes. I believe. I received this and I point to the aimlet of a decapitated small head. Oh the no. eyes are always falling. Save for the spell. Well, not, 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 not. Don't have to like hold it up and activate it. You have to draw attention to it. Oh, oh you okay. have to draw attention to it. So, save for the spell. Yeah. Okay. I don't you know, know what my save is, plus, but whoops. I plus one because you're, uh, you're barely aware. Seven. <laughs> one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he starts to look very irritated. I, Something is really agitating. I you. got a two. I'll say that's enough. <laughs> Next <laughs> question. Both the women wake up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what utilitarian and or support skills would you bring to benefit the group? I smash. I dig. Okay, digging. That's one. Okay. I can mend wounds a ah, little. You can heal. Only a that's little. That's good, right? I like big halflings who dig. I can't fix it if you lose <laughs> an arm. I've tried. <laughs> Yeah, well, that's, that's to be expected. Um, I'm not. I'm a fair tracker, but mostly I fight. Okay. Actually, I don't track. <laughs> <laughs> no, <not> really. <laughs> question. Very well. I have a question. If I jump on the table, I'll be somewhat of the eyesight of them. You would be taller than him if you were standing on the table. I mean, he's sitting down. Are you sitting down? Someone got me a chair. I'd sit down. Yes, there are twelve chairs, and they were all. And I'm eating any food within reach. <laughs> okay. Then I'll jump on the I'll table and just kind of sit on the table. Yeah, realizing you're looking around for something to eat again now after she said she would get something. <laughs> drink. Sarah gets up and she goes to look for some food in the kitchen. He's always eating. I'll say, uh, <laughs> I'll say, Jared, do you have any spell casting capability? No. Why would I have such a... She, she's shaking her head no before he says anything. <laughs> I say, why would I have such insolent abilities? I'm guessing you're a barbarian. Ask him if he has any children. I don't know, but many do. We're not asking, asking him that. Should I roll D12? Do you have <laughs> any... I'm very pretty. Jared, very do you have any children? <laughs> sure. Seven. <laughs> that Seven. I know of. <laughs> At least. No. no. <laughs> At least. Okay. He is. <laughs> She's not a yes. So he is 16 charisma, you 19 thumbnails. He's you want. gorgeous. <laughs> you Very good. He's go. like Jason Momoa halfway. Well, <laughs> it's my Jared, get him if anything were to happen Jared's to you in the food. In, while adventuring, and I take out a get piece of drink. parchment and, save, and a little piece of chalk. He's like black parchment and some chalk. So if anything were to happen to you while adventuring, who should we bring your belongings and remains to? Probably my oldest son, Jerry. Jerry! <laughs> Very well. Jerry Springer. No, Stoutfoot. <laughs> Jerry Stoutfoot. Very good. The third. Aileen goes, oh, I think I know him. We skipped a generation. <laughs> <laughs> D didn't he go to Blackberry? I think so. I don't know. <laughs> I'm an absentee father. <laughs> I like to drink a lot of milk. <laughs> 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 He's a father of many and knows none. Well, Dad always goes on a milk run and he never comes back. For those who didn't get that joke. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so she, she brings you. 
<laughs> she brings you uh, steaming buttered corn on the cob wrapped in ham, half a turkey with the bones still in, uh, a bowl of cranberry sauce, and a bowl of uh, small like green herbs of some kind, uh, like seasoning. Yeah. Okay, so he, uh, so he's finished his bread, he's finished his turkey leg, and now he like brings all that as close as he can to him, and just starts eating it all. Okay. And then she brings over a flagon of honey meat. And takes a swig of that as soon as she brings it over. Okay. And stop killing yourself. I don't know. That guy's creepy looking. And? <laughs> he looks like someone you're going to find in an alley. Okay. Okay. Steal your organs. Anyone got that? All right. <laughs> Bring in the next yes. John and John. Any weapon. <laughs> And your your negative your non weapon proficiency penalty is only minus one. So even if you don't know how to use it, you only get negative one. I just can I just screenshot it. Yeah, that's what I did. Yeah. Yep. I don't actually know how to save on You would be proficient in ten weapons. You're sixth level, right? You'd be proficient in ten one, weapons. One, two, three, four, five, six. And any one that you're not proficient in, you get minus one to hit. Can a spade be one? <laughs> <laughs> sure. Okay. I'll replace a glaive because it's improvised weapon. Sure. You can have it as a weapon. And open the end of people. <laughs> Rolling. Rolling. Rolling is a, can be either weapon. How does that work? Uh, basically, you, it's like dirty and fighting. You punch, gouge, kick, mm. kick knee, headbutt, whatever, uh, and it does these six. So you should do real damage. Six six. Six. But it does not count as arm versus subway. Is there a hunting or stealth? So hunting and those hide and shadows. You have hide in natural surroundings. surroundings. Yeah, you kind of get that in the woods on that. So you can have hide and shadows or move silently or hunting. Yep. Okay. I'm just eating so, away. Uh, RJ was next. Yep. Okay. So, uh, I just sent a picture to the group. Okay. <laughs> We're doing pretty good on the picture. When he comes to the door, he'll, he'll hear like my muffled. People are listening to the podcast and you go, I hope I get to see these pictures. Uh, so when he approaches the door, I'm like, this is really good food. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. This guy is something is else. Isn't like someone you be in an alley to do your organs? <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't he? This is a Merlin yeah. side character. Who, him Merlin or side? He's a Merlin side character. Like he does, the TV he show does look like a villain from Merlin. Yeah, he does look villainous. Like but, someone so, right. so anyway, really cool. so you open the door, you open the door, and that guy's yes. standing there in a light rain. He's tall. Oh, no, he's half. Uh, yeah, are you half. responding How tall to... is he? Three foot two. Three foot two. About your height. So he's about five Are you inside. responding so to the thing at the check thing? He just walks out. in. Hello? He walks in and sits down next to whoever's the closest. Okay, so... Okay, then. Him, or there's like eight open chairs. If you sit next to me, and I'll uh, push my food over to the away other side. Yeah, I'll sit next to him. Okay, as you okay. do, I'm just like... Uh, do you close the door after you? <laughs> Pull the food and I go back to eating, yeah. Jason, yes? do you close the door? Yes. I wrote okay. a character. As you go to close the door, the yeah. door gets stuck open for a second, as if there's something yeah. blocking the door. And then you hear some, back you hear some like scrabbling noises on the floor. And then a broom that's propped in the corner falls over. And then you hear some scrabbling noises on the stairs. And then it gets quiet. I'll whistle. Okay. Kind of like a. Okay. Um, the the chairs on the other side of the table toward the stairs push apart slightly abruptly, and then you hear a little bit of noise under the table, and then the chairs on his side push apart, and then it gets quiet again. It's obvious that there's something invisible that came in with him, but you don't know what it is. The, the chair is not that? very big. It's like maybe oh. two feet tall. Did the chair on my other side move? Uh, no, it's on the other side of him. Oh, okay. So him, me, and then that chair. Yeah, I'm not really bothered by it. Was him, so then you, <laughs> then there's like three empty chairs, and it was those chairs on the, that part that moved. Okay. So I heard you guys. She looks people. at you. She goes, yes. Indeed. Uh, What's your name? Vampire. Vampire. What was that thing <laughs> that George. was moving around? What kind of name is that? <laughs> the sun is coming up outside, by the way. <laughs> I'm George. This is Jared, Adam, and Aelin. You start petting something. What are you petting? Clearly, he has an invisible pet here. I get that. She goes over. But what is it? Picks up the broom and stands it back up in the corner. It's just, it's just a baby. It's not going to hurt anything. I can't see it. That's the point. Very well. I'm not going to ask anything more. Well, then, fire. So how are you doing? What kind of combat experience have you had? I'm fine. He's talking to you. <laughs> what kind of combat whistle? experience have you had? Can what? I take sure. A little bit here and there. <laughs> you can be a lollipop kill. <laughs> I'm a trickster. So, roguish type? Tricksters aren't really that strong. I've killed a few in my time. Good luck, pig. <laughs> Sense a hint of attention. I prefer not to get into hand to hand combat. I'm more of a weakling. <laughs> <laughs> I say 
give a mouthful to it, a little bit like mashed potato spits out. <laughs> <laughs> Remember that uh, you don't think of what you do as magic, it's altering reality. That's what I said on the trick too. Okay. Well, what, I'm a, I'm a man of many talents. What do you believe is your greatest offering in an adventuring party? Can I, can I add something to make all of this food disappear? <laughs> you don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, you, to make things disappear would be like invisibility. However, if you want to create something more, that can be easily accomplished. Or yeah, I'll, I'll create them more food. I'll create them a whole, take our whole cooked turkey. Okay, so you just go. The pestle force can be used to make things that were there no longer there, but it's like very new and like that. Right, it's harder to do that. So and I get it's more effective. Points. I'll well, create just a whole cooked turkey. You more likely to see it still there, but partially transparent or something. Yeah. Okay, anyway, so he just goes, and the turkey appears on the table. This part if you call them and sticks and stuff. Uh, so yeah. you can duplicate turkeys. <laughs> <laughs> I drag it over and I rip off the leg and start eating. A Among Alan many says, dude, yes. you could use him in your restaurant. I was just thinking that. <laughs> he could cut food costs something in tells half me, or more. Something tells me he's a lot more expensive than a turkey. I'm eating his turkey now. <laughs> okay. I, are you attempting to make the turkey real? No. Okay, so I'm just going to continue to kind of like concentrate on it. You'll have to, if you don't continue to concentrate on it, it won't respond when it takes a bite out of it. It'll look wrong, basically. Yeah, that'll, yeah I'll make it real. Okay, so you have to fail a same thing versus spell. You need a low number. You can give yourself up to minus two, I think. That was a seven. Uh, should, probably. Yeah, that'll, yeah, that'll do. Yep, it. okay. So uh, that'll do it all. the turkey looks do real. Uh, what did you use to make it? Phantasmal Force? Yeah. Okay. So it's cold when you eat it. I just push it across and go back to my warm food. I mean, it's nothing wrong with cold cooked turkey. Yeah, but the warm food's here. I'll eat it. <laughs> okay. Eat it while it's still warm. Right. It's not in my food domain at the moment. I feel sure. like I know what you are. Uh, gotta think of what it's called. Ask it's him if he eats when halflings. When no! He, he <laughs> looks like someone who would eat a halfling. Or I don't want to go with anybody. I think he is halfling! Him. No, him. He eats turkeys. That's clear. I, he I, looks like... Do you eat halflings? He looks halflings. No, I don't eat halflings. Are you halflings? Oh, you halfling. I'm not a cannibal. Well, so you are halfling. halfling. Or yeah, a vampire? He looks like a halfling. Oh, you are a halfling? He's three foot. He just said he's not a cannibal. <laughs> he's a halfling. Yeah. Oh, halfling. Yeah. So they're both halflings, but he's five foot and he's three foot. Oh, you were the one this. And he's two foot ten. I'm just a Shaquille O'Neal of halflings. Now, That's keep all. Keep in mind that Bezor is the only illusionist you've probably, well, I guess, and enemies you've probably encountered, and none of them have openly shared their illusionists. So, I mean, you could obviously say that if you want. Unless he's run into one in a subway You would probably know that he doesn't want that. I mean, he has an adventure trip before. I don't ask that. He might have run into one. You, you've been around Brunson and other illusionists to know that they never say that. Yeah, yeah. Brunson's not a major. Or, yeah. or Bezor. He just does weird stuff. I say it. Yeah, I'll say, uh, oh, if nothing else, duplicating turkeys seems pretty useful. We're going to be on the road for three days, and if we do hire this guy, we're going to need a lot of turkeys. Yeah. <laughs> I don't eat that much, but I mean, like, I eat like a bird. Duplicate the ingredients. Bit of bread here and there. I eat birds. <laughs> I do enjoy myself some honey mead. So, can can you duplicate honey mead too? Possibly. I feel like that might be worth a hundred gold pieces a day right there, or a hundred gold pieces for the whole trip. I mean, and expenses, and he can keep expenses cost down. In fact, if he can keep expenses cost down enough, I could pay you all a hundred and ten gold pieces instead of a hundred. And Sarah says, "Shh, that's not how negotiating is done." <laughs> <laughs> Roll a, a d20 versus constitution. Uh, three. And then, uh, and then I'll I say, um, what was it, Zanfire? Zanfire. Zanfire Gold Brook. I'll say, well, Alan, what do you think? Is there anything else you'd like to know? Are you evil? No. Okay, we That's do a... not the kind of question <laughs> We kind of need to do alignments. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. so. <laughs> we do need to do alignments, probably. Okay, right? yeah, that's fair. <laughs> Okay. Um, all good. No, I okay, I, I think he'll be I fine. He's lawful when he Absolutely fights. Absolutely. He's chaotic, chaotic everywhere else. <laughs> so that's two, three. I was thinking six, seven would be a good number. Something like that. Do you ride a horse? Can you ride a horse? Yeah. Okay. Who would you like us to send your belongings and remains to should something happen? Oh, wait, we didn't ask him if he had kids. We asked the last guy. Yeah, do you have kids as well? Four, four kids. Twenty. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's been trying hard, but it's only worked four times. <laughs> he's been trying to get women. You just gotta be more of a specimen like me. <laughs> you have seven. You know what you uh, alien he knows. Seven, I know. Seven or more. Seven, he knows them. Sister. I, I, I do have a wife. We love her. Okay, what's her name? 
What's your name? Zanfire? Zandros. <laughs> Sapphire. Sapphire. <laughs> All right, Sapphire. And is she here in Pan Reach, or? No. She's traveling at the moment. But she, she normally is yeah. here. Got it. Oh, I think I know her. Didn't she go to Blackberry? <laughs> What is Blackberry? This is like the next closest house. It's a house school. Oh. It's a what? I said it's a phone brand. Yeah. <laughs> it's a phone brand. It's just like a general. It's very like, popular. It's like a general education, right? Yeah. Is it like all, is it just any, like anyone or is it a halfling school? Halflings? It's primarily halflings, but there are humans and the occasion. The humans can make money. <laughs> so, so I, I went to Blackberry as well. Big would it be? <laughs> the humans get shoved in well, waters. Would, oh, uh, probably two and a half to three feet tall. Nearly 25 years since I graduated. Full length, top to bottom, maybe six feet. Big enough to ride then. Yeah, barely, okay. but yeah, not long distance. Yeah. Okay. All right. At that point in time, you're next. So I was running into all oh, uh, You hear whistling coming down the street. Well, like, open a, the like, door. Like, like the Western one. Woo woo. <laughs> <laughs> a challenger approaches, and then you hear. Uh, I open the door, and a uh, dead deer flops room. into the room. <laughs> it's the breathy. Part. You put that in the oven. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you. Sarah grabs it and drags it into the kitchen. And then I walk in. Oh, no problem. And then I walk in and drag a pair of dead wolves behind me. <laughs> Yeah, feel free. Cook it up. Cook it up. Is Jojo? This, uh, is this where we're supposed to... Oh, hey! Jojo! Jared! How's it going? I get up from away from my food, brush myself off a little bit, and I... I <laughs> <laughs> come, up in the <laughs> come on in! They got food! Yeah! yeah. yeah. <laughs> As they're doing their greeting, I get up from the chair and I start looking around the house. Do you have any idea how big wolves are? I'll go with you. I'll go with you. Yeah, but he's really strong. He's dragging them. He's probably 1800. No, he's like 1800. As they're doing their greeting, I get up and start looking around. I clearly, based on my find a a writing desk in the living room with some half-written notes, ink, pen, papers, correspondence that you can poke through. Their shoulder length is higher than your shoulder length. He's reading the mail. They stand taller at the shoulder than you do. (laughs) I see your investigative one. Did you say that? That's a dime. Oh, just straight nosy. I give him the cold turkey. So, where are we leaving? Huh? When are we leaving? Want to tell anyone guess you? I pass you the cold turkey. Oh, okay. Oh, thank you. Well, so, I believe we're... So, I'm not the last person interviewing. No. Oh, okay. He's going to be asking you questions. Cold turkey's not my side. Listen to me. I share it. Question. 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 Why? Because. Because we want to know if you'll be good at being with us. Uh, okay. I mean... We can see that you can hunt, but we already have somebody who can make free turkeys. Yes, uh, that's tough to eat. Sorry, what's your name? <laughs> um, you can call me Jojo. Jojo? Yeah. Turkey guy's not very strong, though. Deep breath. <laughs> Here's another strong one here. Jojo. <laughs> I'm strong. What it's skills strong. would you have to provide were we to go on a bizarre adventure? <laughs> I tell you well, what it uh, is. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty good at finding game, as, as you see there. It's you look over there, and Sarah is gutting the. <laughs> Sarah is gutting the deer in the kitchen. There's blood on the floor. She's got out pots. <laughs> and uh, I'm. I'm, uh, I'm oh, you're pretty, able, you won't have to worry about wolves. Um. Hmm. You have combat experience? Yeah. I mean, like just outside of, with, like against humanoid creatures? Or? I mean, when they get in my way. Okay, There's a possible cult war where we're going. Does that appear to you any? No. We've I don't had, know what those are, but they don't scare me. We've handled worse. <laughs> <laughs> I look at him and say, we've handled worse. Well, I like this guy. JoJo's a great guy. I like him too. Uh, do you have any kids? Four. four kids. Oh, you got four now? <laughs> four, I think. I only met three. Can of them. you ride a horse? Yeah. Small one. I can ride big ones too. You just gotta hold on. Fair. Yeah, fair enough. Sure. Kind of. Uh, they don't like it much. Mm-hmm. Fair name. Probably a if I just got them. <laughs> Your last name wouldn't happen to be Joe Star. Would <laughs> Somebody get that man a shovel. No, it's middle sticks. <laughs> Joe, uh, Joe. <laughs> um, my real name's actually Jack or Jonah, but I don't like it. Jonah. 
That's a goofy name. I love it. Uh, Jojo, who should uh, we send your belongings and remains to should something happen to you? Why are you always asking that? Are you just convinced someone's going to die? No, I would like to be prepared should things come to that. Um, Instead of allowing your belongings to be thievered or... You can send them um, Okay, here's your mother's name. She teaches that Blackberry. <laughs> <laughs> If I if I ask around for JoJo's mother that teaches at Blackberry, well, people know what that means. Oh, I think I had her for music class. <laughs> Does this sound right? Blue stars shining on me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> it's canon. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so two things happen at the same time, and one is that someone else comes to the door. Check out The Moment Blood Bowl, wherever you buy books. This is written by Pastor Daniel Stevenson, the longtime author and game master of Low Moon Adventures. And the other is in the living room where the two of you are, and he's poking through your personal correspondence, or at least your wife's personal correspondence, since you don't really actually be recall being here to write any personal correspondence, but she, he's poking through it. And at, a, at a, a moment in time, there's a, a, a wrought iron trash basket that sits next to the desk, and all of a sudden it leaps up in the air, turns sideways, and the garbage starts to pour out of it. Then it turns <laughs> vertical, so the bottom is sticking up, and then it starts spinning around in a circle like I'm this. I'm walking to go get the door. What, what is that? <laughs> Just walk away and go get the door. I need my spear and I... What is that? I grab my eight-foot okay. shovel. And you hear a, a, kind of like a scratching, flopping noise and the can goes skittering across the floor. There better not be magic! <laughs> I, I whistle again. Okay, so just just as he starts to whistle before that before it actually takes effect, the you you see the little fringe on the bottom of the couch go up. And the couch is sitting up on an angle on one end, like there's something under it. And then you hear the whistling, and then you hear the scrapping, and the couch sort of thunks down. And then the chairs next to him move a little bit, and it gets quiet. Oh no, he's not. The, it's a, the chair next to the desk moves a little bit, and, and then, then I hit quiet. the trash can. Okay. I open the door. <laughs> and he goes, wham! And the trash can goes. <laughs> <laughs> I stab the trash can every And then I clean myself up and go back to eating. <laughs> okay, I think we got rid of the magic. Everybody's safe now. Sarah goes. That trash can was a family heirloom. Well, it was the way to go. I destroyed their trash can. <laughs> as I'm like trying to. As uh, com whatever. You can have the wolves, the wolf pelts. Compensation. Yeah. Okay, well, I almost got this deer gutted. You can have that too. Oh, I already took that. <laughs> I open the door. I think you being the last person. Grandpa, I open okay. the door. So what you see when you open the door is kind of comical, okay? You see this strange party scattered around the kitchen, around a table of 12, a gutted deer in the kitchen with a woman buried in blood and guts, and there's a pool of guts on the floor, and towels that have been stuck up there to keep it from rolling. He's the blood the best through all the rest of the kitchen. There's two wolves laying dead just inside the door. You're going to have to step over them to get into the kitchen. <laughs> Then beyond this room, you see his character standing all creepy looking in the not lit living room. <laughs> and uh, ready for his villain arc. And he's got mail in hand, as if he was reading the mail. Uh, and there's a smashed trash can. Entering this room, I am role playing <laughs> off of my my words that I put to describe the series, but it was on there. Yeah, it wasn't. I, mean, I think I really thing. embodied that one. <laughs> <laughs> My guy is not charming in <laughs> his way. Okay. And, uh, and you're standing in the doorway witnessing all of this. You think of that she may be making a face, but you can't tell it's behind the slightly frightening porcelain mask that she's wearing. Is it uh, just on her eyes? Or no, at that moment in time, face, just Sarah mask. pulls out what appears to be a liver and a lung and throws it in the garbage can. <laughs> the other garbage can. Um, <laughs> yeah, the kitchen garbage she can. Looked, can you tell? Look, Probably not. It's hard. She looks yes. young. From the, from the neck good. down, she is gorgeous. <laughs> There is a there is an image that I sent in the group chat, um, and that is the dress that she's currently wearing. Okay, so she's gorgeous from the neck down, but she is wearing. And she's wearing a, that. She doesn't look like JoJo like with a child. Child. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> One of the smaller halflings whistles at the woman at the door. Okay. Well, hello. Oh, that's awesome. I like Good the mask. Morning. Well, I think we're the eventful one. It would seem. Yes. Well, I think the painting come I'm here for. Uh, that's pretty good. The, the eyes are kind oh of freaking it out. I'm joining second you. breakfast. Oh, I, I seem to have forgotten. Cool. Yes. Something about that city. Uh, Hillcrest. Hillcrest. Yes. 
And a lady? That, that is what everyone else. That's what everyone else is. I'm so sorry. I'm terrible with names. I'm Aylin. Aylin. I, I posted yes. the notice. You're coming to go with us to Hillcrest? Uh, yes. Um, um you see, uh, I had an opportunity here that, that recently fell through. I'm looking for a fresh start. <laughs> well, Hillcrest will be. I'm glad to have someone so magnificent as you, I'm sure. Well, I dearly appreciate it, though I wasn't expecting such, um, company. I guess can't be choosers. Oh, well, certainly not. When will we be leaving? Uh, well, um, I hate to, hate to interrupt, but maybe we could get your name to start. Oh, yes. Here we go. My name is Attraction. Attraction Distro. Feel free to call me Attraction. Right. Anyway, your name is Attraction? Oh, yes. With a C? <laughs> <laughs> there is a C in it. Yes. Somewhere in the middle, I believe. Could have been an X. You want to spell your own name? That's amazing. Oh, thank you. Prophetic, even. Or did you change it? I bet you changed I'm it. I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> as long as I remember. So it's always been your name as long as you remember? Oh, yes. <laughs> How long can you remember? It comes and goes. This <laughs> <laughs> character seems to be very weird. Oh, looks like you're gonna fit right in. Do you? I'm sorry? Well, the rest of the crack guys. Oh, nothing. <laughs> He's kind of weak, but he makes turkeys. Well, anyway, we, we, we've, got a, <laughs> we've got a process we've been following. All right. Attraction. This guy makes turkeys. What? What would you bring to the table to provide to an adventuring party? Oh, well, well, I can change the world, dear. Until you got Are we so That is extremely I mean, better. Um, would you care to elaborate? Well, you well, I can do most anything you ask me to. I can create, destroy. <laughs> anything you want me to be. <laughs> <laughs> I, I believe those of my, my ilk commonly claim that they impose their will upon reality. You could say I do the same, though I find that a bit... Brutish. I think what I do is more delicate. Yeah. Can you duplicate turkeys? <laughs> we would actually, be good to have a backup. <laughs> I actually do like. I can. Um, is that a requirement? Yes. <laughs> no. I don't think so. We're just trying to gauge your abilities. Because I'm very capable of creating turkeys. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Prove it! Hey, uh, can you ride a horse? Why? Um, not as well as a griffin. I doubt we'll be able to find any griffin. Oh, can you make a turkey? A can you ride a horse? <laughs> okay. What? Okay. Do you have loved ones? <laughs> Uh, sounds dangerous. Uh, did you not go to <laughs> JoJo? Big bird type thing. Horse bird eagle. Well, JoJo, did you not go to school? Do you have any kids? <laughs> not that I'm aware of. Okay. It would be weird if I did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because like, she's a girl, you know, she, like, she was there, there were two kids and didn't know it, that'd be really odd. <laughs> well, it'd be weird if I did and didn't know, but I don't think it would be expressive weird I've <laughs> to have kids on its I own. I have created some beings that I may have lost. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so definitely that qualifies you as the worst parent kids. in the room. Alan says, "Like turkeys, <laughs> and I'm here." <laughs> like, and he when, is here. When she says that, I actually do laugh. Cats. Attraction. I did um, some some traveling circus street for a while, so I'm sure I've lost a couple of lines. <laughs> Attraction. Do you have any? Family or otherwise that you would like your remains and belongings returned to should you be mortally wounded. I'm sure I did. Okay. I'm sure I did. I can't seem to remember. Please take my things <laughs> if I die. If you can't bring me back, okay. right now. I'll okay. take your stuff. Steal. Okay. <laughs> 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 I'm I'm <laughs> That's a wonderful thing. And I'm bringing myself in here. If I die, I'm on the paper too. Do you so have you a family have member that went to Blackberry? Just out of curiosity, it's like a reunion in here. I uh, don't would, know. How long has Blackberry been around? Oh, a couple hundred years. Oh, yes, my father went to Blackberry. <laughs> you may know I him don't as remember him. Well. <laughs> Blackberry berry tarts. Oh, yeah! <laughs> That's their sports team. <laughs> the fairy tarts. Hoorah! <laughs> Go tarts! <laughs> definitely, the, definitely the linebacker right here. He was the, he was the star free safety for the Blackberry fairy tarts. He also he played Iron Man running back. They, they just threw him the ball, gave him a piece of bread, he doesn't walk the ball to the end. Oh, yeah, he booed. He didn't even notice the, just half what happened. Bouncing off his. Alright. Okay. So. You, you may, 
Because you, you, may, you may know him. His name is Joel. He's the proprietor of the Orange Boar in a brewery. No, I don't think I know him. But I've definitely heard of the Orange Boar. Yes. But I mostly stick to halfling haunts. No, they're not. <laughs> so you're asking us. Your your well, mission. Well, well, what, are you, what are you equipped with? Yeah. Well, we are so we are already hired him. We well, hired him to ask the question. And oh, anyone else here was hired? Interviewed before you arrived and paid because I was, one of my skills is interviewing. <laughs> what are your names? Jared. My name is Adam. Adam Thunderfoot. That's my friend Jojo. 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 <laughs> Who's that fire? Zamfire. Zamfire. I laugh a little. George Brewer. Adam will be going with us. He's my wife's husband. I'm uh, my sister's husband. There we go. He's my sister's husband. <laughs> my wife's husband. That'd be Amen. interesting. <laughs> Brother-in-law. No. 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 Right. My wife's husband. That's what that means, brother. That. Okay. <laughs> stupid. <laughs> I mean, I'm 14 dollars. I'm not dumb, but I'm just <laughs> eating. <laughs> I walk over and just grab a piece of the turkey. One of mine, or yeah, one of the one I created. I just grab. Oh, okay. Rip the that's one he's eating, so that's fine. We will cause a fight. We will eat my turkey. So your invisible pet does eat. It'll eat whenever it's fed, but it does not excrete. That's some? interesting. Can I try that? <laughs> nope. Convenient. <laughs> invisible oh, excrement. I'm very kind of good. Legible and or so. <laughs> They're very, very light. Okay. Um, so she says. They're chocolate covered coffee beans. Uh, uh, that kept me in. A little. Not a lot. Like, can I try and kill me there? She says. So I'm thinking we would <laughs> leave. If everyone can be ready in time, we would leave after second breakfast. They're weird. Oh, I'm already in But they're growing on me. I think everyone here is ready to go. And yeah, she says, the, trade, it, the mission, to your they mission, should you choose to accept it, yeah. is to transport me, they get better as you and Adam will make sure everything goes so fine. Everyone yeah. will make sure it's everything different. goes fine. To Hillcrest, which is a halfling in human community in the hills of the northern and western Pan Reach. It is a safe community, a haven in the middle of what right now is a very volatile area. So we will be traveling with some discretion in the hopes that we will not provoke too much attention. But if we do, above all else, we must maintain <laughs> my safety and get me through safely to my betrothed. That's what I'm hiring you for. Oh, they're getting married. Yes. That's wonderful. Congrats, who's the lucky guy? My fiance. Does anybody else want to know? No, I don't know. Really I don't why, care. Why are you asking? I thought you... Curious question. Okay. I mean, what? Well, I can't, I can't the, ask. Roll a d20. Am I the fiance? <laughs> am I the fiance? <laughs> Is it me? Is it I'd me? I'd like to be. <laughs> can, can I be? Nine. Okay, Anywhere? you actually <laughs> saw correspondence when you were looking through the letters on the desk from Sarah, which is Adam's wife, about her sister getting married to a halfling named Tingle, who lives in Hillcrest. And uh, she says, if you must know, his name is Tingle. I don't mean to be secretive in any way, but frankly, Not you look business. dangerous. <laughs> no, it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> this wind? Yes. I do feel safer with you big, strong fellows around. I don't think I've heard of him now. But he still looks rather sinister. Also, he has a living, invisible doomajiggy. I think it's a raccoon. I don't like too much. Oh, it's far too big to be a raccoon. You mean the oh, garbage can? Large well, no, we, we, we killed the garbage can. A dire raccoon. No, I mean... I <laughs> point. <laughs> it's just a flattened garbage can. Oh, my. I don't like magic. <laughs> Would you like me to fix that? Yes. It's a family heirloom, if you can. I can try. Don't make it turkey shape, though. <laughs> it won't be, a, like you to won't be nearly as useful. Unless you have to. Oh, That's his okay, I'll try. All right. <laughs> She will whip up an approximation of what she believes the garbage Hot can wants to look like. Okay, yeah, I mean, you can tell what it looked like pretty much. Are you making a copy though, or are you trying to replace its damaged self? I'll try to replace it. So it replaces it. Okay. Make it like, look like it's okay. expanding back out. And you're doing this with Phantasmal Force or something better? Is there any different? Uh, spectral force is like spectral a force more has more senses, which makes it more believable. Basically, uh, it, goes, it works it its real, way up. You really love spectral force. 
No, you don't, need, you don't need a better thing, but it will be more believable initially. But if you're making it real, it probably wouldn't matter. I'll choose that. Okay, all right. And then you're going to try to make it real? Yes, and I will take my ring off prior. Just yep. starts reaching behind the burst speed. And you can give yourself minus two to your save, or to your dice roll. I failed to save. Okay, all right. So you have reconstructed the trash can. Um, there are, like, fold marks where it was smashed down. Are you removing those as well? So the coloration looks exactly like it would have been before. Okay. Um, save versus spell, or get one insanity. Point. Yeah, that's a fail. You failed to save. Yes. Collect one insanity point. You do not. Yay! Congratulations! You've graduated from illusion school. <laughs> get your first insanity. Illusionist first insanity point. <laughs> so after she reshapes it back to normal, and it looks exactly like brand new, it looks perfectly like brand new. She goes over and she puts her hand in it and she feels it. And she just, she seems almost bewildered by what she has accomplished. And then she just shakes her head, and after that, she seems okay. It should be near indestructible now. I thought you were going to use a uh, hammer. Nice. No, I changed the world. I think so. That looks like magic. Roll percentile dice. Magic. Oh, you're doing magic. detect illusion? It's not magic. He said it looks like magic. Oh. Uh, 81. You Bam. don't think it's magic. Mm. It could be illusion. Protect you can roll again if you wish. 30%. I don't know, there's some sort of weirdness going on. Well, <laughs> Perhaps you'd like to write for Low Moon Adventures. The Prince Albert series on Kindle is a short story series where you can write your own based on our prompts and donate them or donate half their profit to the ministry. Well, we are equipped with people who can make turkeys and people who can repair garbage cans. Also, very big men who eat a lot and somewhat smaller men who hunt well. Plus, we have a restaurant owner and my wife's fearless husband. We should be good. I am not fearless. And then at that point... <laughs> That's the part of that sentence you <laughs> I am not fearless. I love it. And, and at that moment... I am not fearless. At that moment... <laughs> There is a knock at the door. I open the door. Another. And we'll stop there. Oh, Ron's character. Yeah. Yeah. And it is eight minutes to nine. So. Well done, gentlemen. An enjoyable session, all taking place while you're sleeping in Aaron's mountain. I wrote loud and proud, overly friendly, always snacking, uh, hanging. Alignments. Doesn't serve okay. snacks. Okay, so look at your character based on who they are and pick your top three choices for alignment. <laughs> Not necessarily, but you could do three good choices. You have three good, or two. You can chaotic do. good, neutral good, neutral. Yeah. That's what I you have. You can't to. be lawful, so. That's probably your own, that's your only choice. You can't be evil, though. Can't be evil, can't be evil, lawful. Would, would that include my whatever bones get neutral? Uh, no. I think that's so. So you'd be chaotic neutral instead of chaotic good. Um, do two neutral goods and a chaotic good? That's way better. <laughs> that's way better. <laughs> sure. Okay. Roll for me. D3. Okay. Chaotic good. CGNGN. I, I really feel like you should be lawful. Um, but I only have two lawful options. And that gives you a 66% chance. Oh, you could go lawful. <laughs> <laughs> Is that actually an option? I mean, yeah, but it ain't gonna last very long. <laughs> You're gonna get brained. <laughs> the, the only, the only the alignment that, that I feel like really happen. fits with the personality is chaotic. <laughs> Well, chaotic yeah, good isn't practically chaotic neutral. Yeah, but she one of her traits is that she's willing to do what must be done, and that's why the clash with chaotic yeah, good at times. Only if you don't. I mean, you can still be chaotic good trending toward chaotic neutral. Huh? You just have to be careful and don't go chaotic neutral, otherwise you lose level. And if you go, if you go at times, how often is that really going to be? Probably not even each adventure. Oh, nice. That you're going to do something that's questionable. Chaotic neutral. Part of the did he, do the he did. And I do chaos, you do chaos, you do chaos. Sure. Roll it again. Crack. Whoa! Jeez, dude. Oh. Okay, now roll it again one more time. 
Okay, so it's the middle one with chaotic, chaotic neutral, right? Okay. And that was you. Uh, dang it. You can do a tendency too, so if you want to do lawful good, lawful neutral, and then you could do like neutral tending toward lawful. Or neutral I have good. lawful neutral, lawful good, and I'll do neutral good tending towards lawful. Okay, roll. It's the middle one. Okay. Lawful good. Okay, so now we got it. Very good. We have created chaos. That's always fun. So you're like the only lawful person? Seems that way. Oh, we are so not sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Payback for all those years of Bazor. <laughs> Everyone else was chaotic too. <laughs> it wasn't yeah, it was just me. You were true chaotic. Yeah, you just, you just got the rap for it. I knew so good. So to balance the party, you were going to be so long. I was just saying, are you considered chaotic among a party where there are no lawful things? You must be pretty extremely chaotic. I can answer my Bazor question for chaotic. <laughs> Alright, let's get this place cleaned up. Back to the home. Alvin Shepard. I need to be at home by 9.30 and it is 3 minutes. Left. I got it. Yep, we got a buddy. Ariana, his lights out. Reading time ends at 9.30. She was telling me about my baby. I was really and now she has to remind you when it's time for running time sometimes. <laughs> yeah. That's terrifying. She's funny because, like, she'll dilly dally around the living room and everything and consume the first, like, 15, 20 minutes of reading time. And then. Stay tuned for more Lomunian adventures.